are trembling, the oceans hold their breath, but this holy moment, the heavens stand to their feet, as life like a river springs, up from a dusty land, collision of God and Of saints and sinners reconciled, sing, sing it out, let the earth resound. For the King is He, the King is He. Shout, shout it out, for the hope we found. For the King is He, the King is He. Entrance and different. Let us sing to the Lord, for he has graciously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us thank Almighty God to bring each one of us near to Jesus so that we may be able to see Jesus, listen to Jesus, and experience Jesus in our life. As we are around the altar of the Lord to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us offer all those people who have abandoned their Christian faith and away from Christ. Let us ask the grace to bring them back to the Christian faith. Let us also offer all our personal intentions in this Holy Eucharist, especially all the intentions of the people who have requested our prayers for various reasons. In order to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings and ask pardon and forgiveness from God. I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, let us feel your compassion more readily. During these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, 
so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teaching of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. In those days, an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go towards the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went. And there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah, the prophet, and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now, the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And like a lamb before its shearers, it is silent. So, he opened not his mouth. In his humiliations, justice was denied him. Who can describe this generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. And the eunuch said to Philip, About whom I ask you? Thus the prophet says this, about himself or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scriptures, he said, told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop. And they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch. And he baptized him. And when they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away. And the eunuch saw him no more and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself at Azotus and as he passed through, he preached the gospel to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our response for our psalm will be, cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Response, cry, cry out with joy to God, all the earth. 
Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud with exaltation, ready on my tongue. Response, cry, cry out, out with joy to God, God all the earth. earth. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold me from his merciful love. Response, cry, cry out, out with joy, joy to God, God all the earth. Kindly rise to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o Lord. Lord. Chapter 6, verse 44 to 51. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me, not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel passage, Jesus says, No one can come to me unless my heavenly Father who has sent me draw to me. This passage tells us that it is not by chance that we have come to believe in Jesus. Sometimes we think that it is because of my effort, it is because of my plan, it is because of my arrangement, etc. I am believing in Jesus, I am with Jesus, and I am leading a Christian life. But according to today's gospel, it is God's plan. It is God who arranged everything to be a strong believer in Jesus Christ. It is God who drew each one of us to Jesus. When we come to the first reading, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, we see that Philip baptized a Ethiopian eunuch. And it shows the mysterious intervention of God in our life that we are believers in Jesus Christ. And again, Jesus is telling that I am the living bread that coming 
down from heaven by receiving this living bread we will be united to god receiving this heavenly bread means we are challenged we are leading to the bread that uh, gives us life and we also have a communion with our brethren by receiving this bread we will have a communion with god the father also so dear brothers and sisters the living bread that coming down from heaven is capable of improving our communion with god and our communion with others it is so powerful to improve our communion with god and with our brethren again jesus is telling that the bread that i will give for the life of the world is my flesh so jesus is telling that in the bread that i will give for the life of the world is my flesh when we come to our life we see we are gifted with a lot of talents we are gifted with a lot of abilities and so on and we will develop these talents these abilities in our life then only we will be a bread that will give life to others so when we come to the example of saints we knew that they are people just like ourselves but they will become the bread that will give life to the world why they cooperate with jesus they cooperate with others and they cooperate with themselves by developing the various talents and abilities that are deposited by god in their lives so they become the bread that gives life to the world so dear brothers and sisters when we come to our life also we are also called to give to be the bread that gives life to the world that is a great privilege that is given by god to us let us be aware of this great privilege and be a bread that gives life to the world amen i bring an offering of worship to my king no one on earth deserves the praises that i sing Jesus may you receive the all of that you're due Oh Lord I bring an offering to you Oh Lord I bring an offering to you The sun cannot compare to the glory of your love There is no shadow No mortal man would dare to stand before your throne before the holy one of heaven It's only by your blood it's only through your mercy Lord I Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through christ 
our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and, and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy. Every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of all Heaven and earth are filled with your glory Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis O. Pope, Raphael, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him our god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power and, and the glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever lord jesus christ who said to apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen. amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of all the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of all the world. Have mercy. of all the world grant us peace behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart I embrace you as you are already there in my heart I unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Christ died for all that those who live may live no longer for themselves but for him 
who died for them and is risen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Dear, oh, pray for me while far from heaven and thee. I wander in a fragile bark, oh, life's tempestuous sea. Your love and bless thy shame.